Um, hi, we are the Nerdalls. I'm Vaughn. This is my wife Michelle and our four kids. And we are here just to give you an update on what's going on with us here in Costa Rica. So we thought we'd start with having each of the kids share one thing that they uh, that they really like about Costa Rica. Isaac, you want to go first? Okay. Uh, my name is Isaac, and I really like playing soccer down here. And um, I'm also in a soccer club team. I'm Andrew, and I really like the fruit and juice. I'm Matthew, and I like the coffee. I'm Julia, and I like the beach. Um, our role in the church has been to help serve with mission teams, help on the leadership, um, with the leadership of the church. Yep, we help with par parenting small groups. Um, we host. We have a lot. We host a lot of meetings in our home, so we host uh, the men's group once a month, while well, women's science a couple times, a variety of different things. The church here in Costa Rica in San Jose has a mission to reach out to the poor community that the church has been um, placed in, or that the location that the church is in. They have many ministries um, to serve the community. One of them is CDI. The where they provide classes and training and opportunities for the community to come together. They currently are running English classes and Spanish classes and classes for graduation, for high school equivalency graduation. I like a GED. There's the food preparation classes to help people get jobs. Um, so yeah, there's a variety of different outreach and different ministries like that. They, for example, they have a ballet class with Julia that she attends. A lot of things to bring the community in and be that connection point from, um, basically be that connection point to get people into the church to be able to serve and meet their needs where they are. So, um, And related to that, there, there's a lot of opportunities for mission teams and that's part of the, one of the things that we do is we host teams and have teams come in. So there's a lot of opportunity for people to come in and serve and help in the community directly. Um, they have a great relationship with the school so there's lots of opportunity to get to be able to go into the school, share the gospel, serve, share in the, in the communities, um, to be able to do repair projects and a variety of different things. The church down here is fairly small. Um, it's about roughly about 100 people right now. Um, they have a strategy obviously to grow that, uh, but part of that strategy is to use mission teams to come and to be able to reach out and serve to the community. So they're looking for people to come and directly serve and be part of their vision to be able to reach out and to help the people here. So one way that you can help us besides coming to visit us and spending time here serving in the community and serving the church is by prayer. Um, our family specifically could use prayer for um, first and foremost language development. We are taking Spanish three days a week but it's um, not an easy task so we really would appreciate your prayer and just understanding and being able to speak and communicate to help bridge that gap between us and um, the Spanish-speaking community here. Also, for just cohesiveness in our family, as we are adjusting and have adjusted, but we still are struggling a bit with just being um, together all the time in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. so, um. As far as the church, I think uh, some specific prayer requests would be to raise up more leaders, uh, help the church grow. They're looking to raise up additional pastors. Too. But the impact that what the church is doing impacts the community to bring people to the church and not just for the services that the church is providing, but to actually build, bring people to know Christ. 